Hello and welcome to another video and uh, today I'm out with four dogs you'll see them in a moment on the camera um, but first of all I just wanted to talk about uh, reward and treat training um, it's a great thing to do obviously I don't use it all the time because it's not practical sometimes to, uh, to use it but it's a really good way of getting our dogs um, to recall to us and to do various things that we want them to do when we're especially when we're out on a walk um, as you know I love to walk dogs off lead so they can have a really good time doing what they should be doing, socialising, sniffing, running, playing, swimming, whatever they want to do. Um, but I always try and make it so they have good recall. So I carry some treats with me, healthy ones I might add, not anything that's gonna, that they might be allergic to or anything. And um, I use those to get them to all come to me as a group and then give them a little bit of treat each. Um, but it's a really good idea about walking, especially nowadays because since um, the lockdowns are finished in this country. There's been a lot more people that got used to going out for walks um, over lockdown and they've kind of continued it. So there's a lot of groups now that are, are going out with little maps and walking around and uh, they're all wearing like their pristine clothes. <laughs> and it's not great if a dog runs over and says hello to them with wet muddy paws from being in the river. So um, it's really good to teach our dogs recall. Um, what I use, I use a whistle most of the time, which I've got on me now and I, teach a dog to come to me which they've all just done they're all sitting in front of me right now um, I teach a dog to, to come to over to me straight away with the whistle and then uh, can reward them if I need to put them on a the lead I can do if the people don't want a dog around them some people are out walking dogs on lead so obviously be always be wary of that the dog might be on a lead for a reason that it you know, might not be happy around other dogs and the owner might not be happy around other dogs so I'm always very wary of that so always try and find a way to um, get the dogs to come straight to you and, and get them distracted away from what potentially could be a bit of an awkward situation um, with people or another dog. Um, that's a real key for me. And um, yeah, I use the whistle. I started off using the whistle um, in situations where I just whistle to them and they come get a treat. And I tell the owners if they use a whistle at home as well to get the dog used to that. And when the dog actually comes, then you do the whistle again and reward. So they're associating the treat reward with that noise of the whistle. So they're doing, you get, they're getting whistle and then reward within about half a second of, it, of the whistle. And then eventually when you get out on the walks and they're um, quite happy running about and you do the whistle and bang, they come to you because they've got used to that noise. They know what it's associated with and it's uh, a really good thing. I think you see them playing in the background just here. I'll put them on video in a minute anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's a really good thing. Always carry treats with you. If, dog, if your dog don't like food, then it's probably good to um, uh, bring a squeaky toy out or a ball or something that will get their attention, that will pull them away from a situation. <laughs> They're having a good time down here. I'll let you see them. See you again today. <laughs> uh, you're going in today. So this is Macy, Puggle, as you've seen before probably, and Hugo, and Luna, and Walty. Good. Sit, sit, sit. Good. Well done. See, so that's the power of the whistle. So I might add as well, it's a really fun thing to do as well. So when our dogs are playing and having a good time, like they are now, they're walking about having a sniff and they've been in the river and just generally having a good time. 
when we use the whistle or we use recall, whatever way you want to do it. I don't find clicker works too well outdoors because it doesn't carry very well with sound in the background. As you can hear, I've got some cars going by the main road over there. And that sometimes drowns out the sound, but a whistle seems to cut through all that. But it makes it really good fun as well. They get used to it, they get a reward at the end of it. it and it makes them uh, really responsive to you as well and a really good bonding exercise. So I'd recommend it. Good girl, good girl you see. And Walty's there as well, we've all come over, well done. Come on then. And once they've got used to coming over to uh, the whistle, you don't have to reward every single time. I tend to do one in three or one in five times, so they kind of, kind of don't know really, I'm nearly tripping over the dogs here. Um, they kind of don't know um, how, when they're going to get a reward so it comes back they're kind of like playing jackpot really that one day they'll get it another time they won't and uh, that's 10 to how to do it anyway that's from me with all this noise see you soon